as you probably noticed in our last example, uh, entering data is, is a challenge and it's not exactly very much fun. So we're going to look at importing and exporting data into Google Sheets in this next module. So importing data, you probably saw at the end of the last module that entering data line by line is very tedious. Uh, fortunately, there are a lot of alternatives. Probably the simplest is copying and pasting. Now, copying and pasting from any table that you might see on the internet generally works pretty well in Google Sheets. Uh, it might not be exactly what you need. You may have to try a couple of different techniques, but usually if you see a data table somewhere on the internet uh, on a web page, you should be able to copy and paste it pretty easily. Another thing that comes in copying and pasting very easily is just tab separated data. If you see data in a text file that's separated by tabs, copying and pasting is usually a pretty easy way to get that into Google Sheets. Um, we'll look in the next video on some different techniques on how you can copy and paste. Uh, you can also import a file, you know, so you've got a couple of different options there. You can import using Microsoft Excel. Uh, you can import a CSV, a TSV file. There are lots of different files that you can import, but we'll concentrate on CSV and Excel in the next few videos. Uh, you can also use somebody else's sheet, which is a very, very simple way to access data. Uh, once a sheet is shared, you should be able to very easily make a copy of it, and then you can kind of do what you need to it. So when you import data, if you go to File, Import, you'll see a dialog that looks like this. It'll pop up over the rest of your sheets. You can import from several different sources. You can import something from your Google Drive. If you have a text file or an Excel spreadsheet stored there, you can import from the drive. You can also import uh, somewhere something that's shared with you, as well as it will show you recent files. But a lot of the time, you're going to want to upload. So all you have to do is click the button, and you can select the file that you need to import. And Google Sheets will work with you based on different formats. Uh, you know, for example, CSV data typically looks like this. It looks like if you were to look at the actual text of the file, you would see that there are different values, different columns. Each one has a name and there are different values, but everything is separated by a comma. So if you look for the commas, you can see the different, the different fields or, or how this is going to correspond to different cells in your actual uh, import. So there's an, a simple or a sample CSV file here. I will link this in the description of the video. Uh, but if you want to import the file, you'll notice when you import a CSV file, you get a couple of different options. Uh, anytime you, you're going to import, you've got some options on where you should put this data. Uh, you can have it live in a brand new spreadsheet. You can insert a new sheet. We haven't really looked at multiple sheets yet, but you can actually have multiple sheets within your spreadsheet or within your workbook. Uh, you can replace the current, uh, the current sheet or you can replace another spreadsheet or you can just add the rows you know so you can re add rows or replace data so you've got a lot of options into where this comes in but a lot of times you're going to be starting from scratch so you're going to want to replace the current sheet uh, the separator uh, Google Sheets will detect this automatically, but this just identifies that for a CSV file, typically this will be a comma. Uh, you can enter it if you know it. You can say that it's going to be a tab, a comma, or something else. Sometimes you see files that are delimited by semicolons or colons or carrots or tildes. Uh, you know, sometimes you see very creative separation of data here, uh, but almost all the time you're going to run into files that are tab separated or comma separated. And typically Google Sheets will figure that out automatically pretty effectively. Effectively. Uh, it will also ask you if you want to convert text to numbers and dates. You can either have the numbers and dates come in as just plain uh, numbers and dates, or you can have them come in as text. Uh, so we'll get into an example of this as well in a future video. You can also import Excel spreadsheets. There's a sample spreadsheet here, and again, I will link this in the description. But uh, you get less options when you import a spreadsheet be or an Excel spreadsheet because it's already kind of figured out a lot of the data mapping for you, a lot of the way things work. So importing a spreadsheet is going to give you kind of a, a view of what that spreadsheet looks like. So in a way, it's simpler, but you have less control over what happens. Now, once you've imported data, if you want to share your data with someone else or you need to export it, there are a couple of different options. You can always, you can always download this as several different formats. You can ex export and download your uh, spreadsheet as an Excel file, XSL, XLSX. Uh, there are a few other options here. Typically, when you export spreadsheets, you're going to either want to share them as Excel spreadsheets uh, or maybe PDF if you want someone to read them. Now, if you just want to export the data of your spreadsheet, you can use a CSV or a TSV. Again, those are probably the most common formats that people use to share this data. Now, 
you can share the sheet if you don't want to export it and sharing gives you a couple of options. You can uh, click that share button in the top right corner and that's going to pop up a dialogue that looks like this one on the left. Uh, that's going to allow you to share with others so you can enter their email addresses and you can allow them to edit, comment, or view the document. Uh, you can also get a shareable link and you know you can see here you can easily allow others to edit, comment, and view, but using that link makes it pretty simple because when you click that shareable link, you actually get a link that you can send to people that allows them to view the, the spreadsheet. So from that point, it's very easy for people to copy. You know, they can just go to file, make a copy, and then start working within your spreadsheet. So, uh, and you can see here, file, make a copy, it allows you, it'll, it'll pop up a dialog that allows you to give it a name, and then you'll be able to very easily uh, start working with the spreadsheet. So a lot of options for how you get data in and out of Google Sheets uh, that will probably make it easier to work on future lessons so that you don't have to enter every field one by one. In the next couple of videos, we're going to go over exactly how each one of these works and show an example of how to import and export the data. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching and uh, keep an eye out for the next video.